Oh, okay. So it is back. I do have to say my legs. It's now two days, two days after leg day. And yeah, this is the worst. I don't even think I'll be able to jog back home today. Because yesterday was a bit of a struggle, but today it's way worse. I don't even think I'll be able to. Man, even walking to the gym was just one of the biggest challenges I've ever had. <laughs> I don't know why the legs are like this. Maybe I need to look more into like, you know, just, just the way like I train legs intensely. I need to stretch as intensely. I need to look into some more stretches for the legs. Because anything that can help would be big. But yeah, man, we're going to start with a... I think today is just going to be a series of face pulls. So probably some standing face pulls, some kneeling face pulls, drop setting each set. And that should be good for the upper back. And the like lower traps as well. So yeah, man. Nothing much to say. Had like uh, like two bowls of two, or let me just say two cups, or let's say like one and three quarter, or like one and a half cups of some uh, ndengu stew as my pre-workout meal, and then gonna go home to some nice rice and something I don't know, or just on or oatmeal or something, anything that is. I would prefer having chicken breast, but then I said I ran out of meat. Like not just chicken breast, but beef. Any meat in general that's just run out and ah, not having. The, we don't. We currently don't have the money to buy some more, but we will soon. We will soon, and we'll hop back onto the proper protein intake. But in the case, enough yapping. Let's begin. I mean, with face balls. Yeah, that is that is really an intense contraction, man. But with face balls, I just like to push as close as I can to a failure because I usually feel like I just can't get completely to a failure. Like there's always some more like reps that I, that you can pull off. Like even when I take like a one second pause, just to like you know, like a one second chill mode in between reps it's like so much energy comes back to push more it's different from like any other muscle group i don't know why that is like when i'm doing for my lats and i'm rowing my biceps will probably tie out the closer i get to failure until i can't pull or row anymore you know 
But with these ones, it's different. I just keep going and going and going. And I guess maybe it's because I'm fresh. Because my biceps should tie out as you keep going with the latter set. But let's move on. Okay. I believe it's one more. One more set and then we are done with the pulling. And now with the rowing. I mean, we're not really done with the pulling. Pulling is everything. Upper back, lats, everything. So, uh, well, let's get into the last set. Ooh. Okay, let's move on to the last.
Okay, so I'm gonna start off with um, probably some lap fall down. No problem. I will start off with some lap fall downs. Drops at each set. Try and like take a nice pause and then squeeze on each side on the drop set. And then probably gonna finish off with some one arm dumbbell rows. And I'm gonna burn out with some seated cable rows on that one arm dumbbell row. Yeah. Or maybe I should burn out with some T-bar rows. Nah. You see with T-bar rows, like it's a heavy exercise. So I feel like I can't really squeeze, you know, unless I go lighter. Squeeze and then but anyway. Let's just let's just get started with this first. Thank you. 
Okay, one more set. The last one. Whew. But that is good, man. The contraction, especially from the pull downs, the contractions from the pull downs was immaculate. I think starting off with the pull downs instead of a different workout makes it way better. But drop setting each set, like doing drop setting the each set of the pull downs, that just multiplied the pump. Even now, like doing bent over dumbbell rows and then burning out with something else that is still a row. You could burn out with some barbell rows. You could you could do CD cable rows, T bar rows, any type of row. But burning out makes it so much better. Like multiplies the pump. But anyway, let's get into the last one. Ooh. Okay, man, that is enough for today. Six sets of upper back, six sets of some lats complete. And when I do my upper back, I'm mostly also just hitting my, lat, my rear delt as an auxiliary muscle. Kind of like, you know, bench pressing, front delts. Because when you do face pulls, it's an upper back workout and it's a rear delt workout. So it's like a two in one. So I'm not missing, I'm not, I'm not neglecting my rear delts. Just because you don't see my rear delts, like any specific rear delt workout or any specific front delt workout, doesn't mean I'm neglecting them. I'd rather have overgrown side delts because then it should be easier to focus on my front delts and my rear delts. Because if you have overgrown front delts and rear delts, but like really undergrown side delts, it's going to be way harder to catch up because side delts don't get hit as any auxiliary muscle. Side delts have to like be hit with its own dedicated workout. But yeah, man, hopefully my legs recover because leg day is the day after tomorrow. <laughs> so hopefully when I come to the gym tomorrow, they'll be recovered and in tip-top condition for leg day the day after. But yeah, man, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to take a nice walk home, not a jog, because my legs are on fire. Not on fire, they're just in pain. It's severe, like, soreness. 
it's like it's like they've just been through an accident or something. But anyway, I'm really getting a sense of adventure. You know, life has become life is becoming kind of boring. It's like every day is just blending into the same thing. Like I don't I didn't even know what day it was today because every day is just it's, it's like blending into the same thing. It's like I'm being inducted into the matrix. You know. Uh, and I'm having a sense of adventure. But I can't have a sense of adventure without the income to support that. So, <laughs> uh, But you can't get a job without experience or a degree. Oh. But anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. And I hope you guys are keeping up with your meals, you know. You got to have at least three meals a day. You gotta have your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. And then, if you're going to the gym, you gotta you gotta have your pre-workout meal, you gotta have your post-workout meal, and you gotta have dinner. Well, pre-workout meal can be your breakfast if you wanna go in the morning. But yeah, look, let's say it like this, yeah. Let's say you're a working person, yeah. So you probably wake up, have breakfast, go to work, have lunch. And then you probably have a, po a pre-workout. You can either have a pre-workout snack or you can have a pre-workout pre shake. Like, you know, a pre-workout shake. And then go to the gym. At this time, it's probably like after work. So it's like four, five, six. I don't know. And then after you come from the gym, you have your post-workout meal. Which will probably be your dinner. And then you go to bed. Now, depending on which level that you're in. You might have like six meals a day, some have four meals a day, like I usually have three to four meals a day. Honestly, whenever you feel hungry, just eat. That's all I have to say. Whenever you feel hungry, just eat. But the key is to eat foods that will keep you health, that will keep you fuller for longer with as little calories as possible. That's the key. Don't go out here, oh, you know, I'm hungry, I'm going to eat a chocolate bar. Like, what are you doing? That's not, that's not, I'm going to go have a burger. Like, what? No. Like, yeah, fine, a burger is fine, because a burger will keep you fuller for longer, but it is on the higher end of calories. The key is to get foods that will keep you fuller for longer, but for as little calories as possible. So, yeah. You probably go for, like, some rice with some meat and some veggies. That's, like, the standard You'd probably have some potatoes with some ground beef or some minced meat and some veggies inside if you want to. Veggies are optional. I know veggies are good for your health, but well, in my book, they're optional <laughs> if you want them or not. But you know, veggies doesn't have to be like broccoli or stuff like that. You can just have greens, like you can have fried cabbage, you can have kales, fried kales, you can have or boiled cabbage, boiled kale, whichever it is that you prefer. You can have some lettuce. Lettuce is always good, bro. Lettuce always tastes good. I don't, I don't care who you are. There's no way you don't enjoy lettuce, especially with like some red vinegar on top. Oh my days, that stuff is just bossing. But anyway, enough happened. See you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.